Football in Athens is finally back as Ohio returned to Peden Stadium hosting its home opener against South Alabama. On the Bobcats' second drive of the game, Gianni Spedek knocked in a 45-yard field goal to open the scoring, adding to his three makes from week one. Ohio had the ball early in the second quarter as well and had an opportunity to strike. Anthony Ties III bowled his way into the end zone for the third time in the early season and the first home TD of the year for the Bobcats. Jaguars offense wasn't able to get much going until midway through the second quarter. South Alabama's kicker Lath Margin hit from 28 yards out to get the Jags on the board. And in the blink of the eye, South Alabama had the ball back and were driving. After pushing inside of the Bobcats 10 yard line, Fluff Bothwell punched the ball in and the Jaguars tied the game. Late in the opening half, Ohio QB Parker Naval had the ball back in his hands and he found his receiver Chase Hendricks in the end zone and put the ball in the only place it could go. You know, it felt good because we got some players outside and, you know, I love to see them get the ball and get in the end zone. Um, and I think they're going to be, those guys on the outside are going to be a huge part of our offense. So it's just really exciting. The late score took Ohio into the locker room up 17-10 at the half. And the momentum from the end of the first clearly carried over into the second for Navarro as he found the end zone for the second time, this one coming on the ground. And the opening drive in the third quarter, that's a big time. You know, I mean, especially how it unfolded and what they did defensively, what we had called. I mean, Parker saw it. It was like the Red Sea, man. And I don't think anybody touched him. Even playing from behind, South Alabama refused to go away. The Jags had back-to-back -back drives ending in points, with the first being a touchdown from Jamal Pritchett and the second being a 38-yard field goal from margin. Ohio held a narrow 24-20 lead late in the fourth, but delivered in the moments when it mattered most. On a fourth and one near midfield, head coach Tim Albin elected to go for it, and that culminated in a field goal that put Ohio up by seven. The South Alabama offense had a final shot at tying the game, but they were denied by Ohio's defense. It just honed in on our eyes and discipline, and really it was just the basics this week. We kept it simple, and uh, we executed. The Bobcats will prepare to take on Morgan State next week, while South Alabama will host Northwestern State on Thursday. Reporting for Bobcat Showcase, I'm Andrew Bowlby.